IF transformers. These are two coils that are separated by a little bit of space and tuned to a resonant frequency approaching 455 kilohertz. These capacitors on the top allow me to trim them to the right value. Because they are separated by a little bit of space, when I excite the top one with a signal that it's tuned to, it passes a little bit of that signal to the bottom one, which is a pickup coil that can feed another tube amplifier. Because they're tuned to one frequency, because they're separated by that distance, <clears throat> nothing much gets across the gap except for what's at that one frequency. So it's a pretty effective filter for a super heterodyne receiver. The form here is made of plywood soaked in wax. I get a heat gun out and blow until the wood is nice and warm, then rub wax into it till it soaks in. The supports are made of standard copper wire. I twisted them in a drill to work hard them a bit and give them a little bit of strength. These are standard 60 picofarad ceramic trimmer capacitors mounted on Manhattan style forms. They do very good to tune the coils. I wound the coils on acrylic bobbins that are used for sewing thread. It's 30 gauge wire and all I had to do was chuck the bobbin into the drill and spin it at a low speed until it was nearly full. Then I measured them and trimmed them until they all read the same value. This is my completed IF transformer. I made a shield can out of it with some tin that I got from the craft store. The seam right here is not very good, but I intend to improve my process with further builds of these IF transformers. This one was just experimental. These mounting holes will let me clamp it down to a radio chassis and use it. I have resonated these at 455 kilohertz and they seem to do very well. In a small tube radio, I should be able to get them to be effective. The metal I use for the cans is this metal here. It's .008 inches by 4 by 10 inches tin plated steel. This can be bought at craft stores for not much money and is extremely useful and extremely bendable for any sort of radio shielding application. For some reason the description talks about tubes. So yeah, IF transformers.